Hello, Hello. I'm Sevian, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem on the Game Boy Advance. Hello, I'm Sevian, and welcome to Let's Commentary over the first episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advanced. <laughs> well, I kind of am at a one-year anniversary of starting Let's Plays, so I figured I'd do something incredibly crazy. That's right, I am narrating the first episode. I'm doing a commentary on a commentary, that's right. Uh, not much to say here, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I've, I've got Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon right here. Like, it, There's been a game about Marth that's been released in America, and I'm only through the prologue and I already have problems with this game. Like, gameplay's nice, uh, I, I'm not really worried about the gameplay, it's a Fire Emblem game. I like how it's been updated for the recent stuff, for like the weapon triangle and stuff. I, I love the fact that you can kill Jigen or Jagan or whatever they're calling him in this game. But, yeah. On to the islands beyond! I bet this is gonna be like really weird for you to hear. It's like me talking and then me talking over me talking. Books. Fire Copyright 2003 Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. I'm wondering why I decided to call myself Mark. Like, I I'm regretting that decision. I like default names as much as the next guy, but I'd probably remember the fact that I was playing as a tactician if I had called myself Sevian or used my real name. It's Nivek. Oh no, it isn't. It's just Sevian backwards. Ah ha ha ha! Reversal. Let's go! Ha ha ha! It's me, Mario! Prologue. Prologue. A plea from the stars. Yes, I'm awake. Yes, I'm awake. Ponytail. I hadn't realized how cute ponytails were when I'd started this. I, I like, realized that over the past year, but... Ponytail. Okay, we're only two minutes and thirty seconds into this thing. I'm regretting the fact that I am doing something incredibly crazy right now. Let's see. Dang it, I have the audio through my headphones, so it, it doesn't come through and has the audio from my commentary coming into the narration timeline for my commentary over the commentary. Because I don't want to divide by zero tonight, thank you very much. Yeah, so... Well... I still don't get that. Like, how could those two bandits just destroy a whole bunch of NPCs? I'm like, if it's so easy for these people to just go, okay, weapon triangle, boom, boom, boom. Like, it's one of the great mysteries of Fire Emblem. And which is one of the main themes behind it, too. So, I shouldn't be complaining. Blah, blah, blah. Mark is green! Blue, red! One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I really like the whole strategist thing, though. It's a nice way of getting you into the game. I just think that they should have, like, remade. I, I, they they should have just translated the one with Roy to bring over here. Because that's what everybody wanted. I mean, N Nintendo through... Uh, uh, lost in translation, the we want a game with Roy uh, bit. They just heard we want a Fire Emblem game in America. So they made one for America that didn't have Roy in it. So that's probably why the series isn't as popular as it is. Which is why I'm hoping that it's going to pick up a bit now that we actually have a game with Marth. So people will be like, oh, there's a game with Marth. I know, know him from Melee and Brawl. I'll go play that. Like I said, I'm, I'm saving any criticism I have for Shadow Dragon until I A, beat the game, and B, uh, open up... Uh, well, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but 
I might open up a channel to put the review on so this can stay solely Let's Play stuff. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, I expect a full review of Shadow Dragon in the end. I might not beat it, but still. Also, the reason I'm doing this is so you'll have something really weird to watch while I'm not updating Fire Emblem. Like, I've got a couple more episodes recorded, and I, I might try to record some more so I can get up to 100, but I'm gonna put all of my Fire Emblem focus onto Shadow Dragon so I can get that out of the way, playing it, and to help uh, <laughs> train me a bit for when I go back to actually recording. But I'll try to update here and there, and I do plan to update other ones, but uh, Golden Sun's going to be put off till this summer. I, I know that now. I don't have time to edit all that with uh, uh, college and everything, and I don't have time to grind on a Legacy of Goku 2 either, so those will probably be put out till this summer. Uh... So, we'll pretty much have the occasional Fire Emblem and Legend of Zelda, but that, that's pretty much all I have time to update. It's Butt of the Beast! Miss! Well, we'll see, eventually. That is a critical hit. You will want those to happen. What? 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 As any player of Fire Emblem will tell you, they happen when you don't need them to. See, you want them to happen. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember, uh, about a year ago when I started recording this, I did, like, a bunch of research around the Fire Emblem community, the parts that I hadn't been a member of, uh, that I hadn't been a member of, so different forums. In fact, I need to go back and check up that one forum, but I, I came across a thread on the, uh, Merlinus Tent forum, where, uh, Basically, uh, they were listing all of the, like, rules of how physics works in the Fire Emblem world, and, and one of their theories was critical hits happen when you don't need them, and enemies critical hit at the least moment, and I think I mentioned the me playing Sacred Stones and Leon just going, I'm gonna critical hit you when I only have a 4% chance, and kill the guy that has any hope of beating the final boss. And that's why I've not beaten Sacred Stones yet. Okay. Well, I could probably go back and try restarting that chapter over, but uh, it's been over a year. <laughs> and besides, I want to hold off Sacred Stones because I, I plan to let's play that in the future. But, uh, yeah, how I'm going to handle Fire Emblems, I'm going to get to the end of Ella Wood's story, and then I'm going to do the game with Roy so I can go straight from father to son. And I'll hold Hector mode off until after that to give this game some rest. Since it is my first, I want to go back and play it again like I did, like uh, Deceased Crab did with Let's Play La Milana again. It's the craziest thing that guy. One of the craziest things that guy's ever done. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, so, sort of similar to that. I'll, let's play this Fire Emblem again, the Hector story mode. And so I can give these characters a rest and come back and have all of my jokes about them not be stale to me. <laughs> and have new jokes from playing a game that technically came first. And, but yeah, look forward to the occasional Let's Play Fire Emblem updates, some Legend of Zelda updates, and a rant review about Shadow Dragon coming whenever I beat it or decide I have enough material to yell at it. But, so far, there's only one thing that I'm angry about, and that's the graphics. And that's just about it. This really turned into more of a rant than a commentary over a commentary. But still, the point was there. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll, we'll be better off working together. I know it. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm trying to impersonate uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's uh, girl voice. That uh, is actually a pretty good girl voice. Fight, Mark, for everlasting peace! And this is Sevian signing off. Let's commentary over Let's Play Fire Emblem. Join me next time for more Fire Emblem. Or not, I don't know. Anyway, just about done. Let's save the game. Let's play Fire Emblem by Sevian. Saying bye. Bye.